You probably already know what I'm gonna do. I mean, there's a reason you clicked this video. But in case you guys didn't already figure it out, today I'll be filling out a couple more pages in Mariah Elizabeth's Create This Book 2, but with my usual evil twist. So the first page says, create a wish, make a wish here. For this page, I wanted to go wands and wings, fairy godparent type vibes. Because, you know, they make all your deepest, darkest derp, derp, desires come true. Derp. So I started sketching out my idea, but I feel like a fairy godmother isn't sinister enough. So to add some wickedness, I drew my tutu wearing witch with some wings and a wand. Sure, why not? Ah! I guess this is how fairy godmothers look on the dark side. I'll give you yeah. anything you want, sweetie. Eventually, I got the sketch to this point. I thought I'd branch out, do something a little crazy. <laughs> So I pulled out the colored pencils, which actually turned out to be a terrible mistake. It was a fantastic waste of time. I don't usually ever use colored pencils because they look like that. Oh no. It's very splotchy if you don't use a ton of pressure. If you do press really hard, you end up with a ton of blisters on your hands, and the pain for me just isn't really worth it. It sucks the fun out of coloring. However, I thought I'd be a bit more daring today because I bought some blending pencils and they should help cover some more of the white of the paper. And it did work to a certain degree. It did blend. It did look less splotchy, but I'm just not happy with it. It looks bad. <gasps> I felt like it was dulling my sparkle. I thought if I went in with some black outlines, it could hopefully save it. Maybe it could fix things. But no. Black was not the savior I'd hoped it would be. So I decided to give up and throw this whole thing in the garbage. No, I'm only joking. I switched over to my tried and true Posca pens. <sighs> the only ones that have never let me down. I might have a depilitating obsession. I thought about redoing this, but I spent way too long drawing and coloring this page. And I didn't feel like starting all over again, so I just painted over this whole mess. Before the colors just weren't bold enough, this definitely makes them pop a lot more. For my wish, I asked for the finest delicacies America has to offer. Burgers, oh. soda, oh. and all the junk food you could ever oh. imagine. The food is also disproportionately large compared to me. I guess I'm helping myself to an extra large serving. I can't complain. I drew myself in my usual very cartoony way because I don't really do realism. But yeah, here's me looking extra thick in all the wrong places after stuffing my face. And since this is the dark side and we don't do rainbows here, see that? That is not a rainbow. Just to switch things up, I painted the rainbow in reverse order. You guys know what I'm talking about. Vibgayor. Some sparkle butt is gonna slap me through the internet for this mix-up, but I'm okay with that. I kind of enjoy ticking them off. I did add a sun that happens to be glaring down at me. It does kind of remind me of a weird TV show I used to watch as a kid. The childhood trauma is still fresh. Some of you may have noticed the pesky little awkward transition ghost eating a cookie in the corner. That's my cookie. Clearly, he's very hungry for the limelight, but no worries, he'll be taking center stage momentarily. By the way, if you're new here and my dark desires haven't scared you off yet, you should consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell icon and select all so you don't lose me on the internet or miss any videos. I post new videos every Friday. So yeah, there really isn't anything too scary about this page, Unless you're terrified of old goblin-looking witches with ugly noses. There isn't much death or chaos going on. There wasn't really much planning that went into this. This wasn't supposed to be Candyland, it's supposed to be my deepest, darkest desires. But I guess somehow my subconscious ended up drawing this, whatever it is. Anyways, we're just gonna ignore that, it's time to move on to the next page. The directions say, create softness. Make this page soft. You got it. I was actually stuck on this page for a long time. I couldn't really think of anything. I debated about breaking the rules, but no, that would be unethical. Eventually, inspiration did strike, and I figured that this would be the perfect page for some good old pain and suffering. I didn't have much torture in my last video, No violence today. 
There, there, don't cry, little one. Sorry about that. You have a right to be upset. A lot of you demanded I bring it back. And well, to be honest, I missed it too. I was starting to feel incomplete without it. I thought about having someone sleeping in the clouds. Clouds are soft after all, but that wouldn't make much sense because clouds are just like puffs of gas in the sky. You could just fall right through them. Scrambled guts sound thrilling? They do. But it just wasn't dark enough for my taste. I finally settled for snow, marshmallows, and some fuzzy winter essentials because I wanted this page to be extra, extra soft. So I drew the awkward transition ghost setting a marshmallow guy on fire, violently roasting him alive. How charming. That might sound borderline psychopathic, just a little. But who here can honestly say they've never roasted a marshmallow? Nobody's perfect. Everyone's a murderer. Trust no one. The little marshmallow looks terrified, Wait, no. and rightly so. The fire, on the other hand, looks very excited about this whole ordeal. Just a little closer. And now that that little marshmallow is all warm and cozy, we wouldn't want to forget about the awkward transition ghost. Couldn't have him freezing his butt off, so he's accessorized with the usual grandma's swag. A sweater, a scarf, a beanie with a pom-pom, and some earmuffs. He's looking at you menacingly, though I'm not really sure why. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm also not sure why I made him camping in the middle of nowhere by himself. He's just chilling. I probably could have given him some friends, but I didn't. I left the background pretty empty. Everything's covered in a white layer of snow. Sure, let's go with that. Looking back, I do wish I added some more color to the background, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. I still like it. It's got a great personality. I know there are some people who can't wait for Christmas. I did draw some Christmas trees in the back. These are so but I'm just gonna leave them there though, since tis not the season for Christmas quite yet. You're gonna have to learn to be patient. All right, moving along. This page says, create a translation. Write one word in different languages. So for this page, I didn't want to just write words on the page. Frankly, that would be kind of boring. Plus, I'm not really a big fan of my handwriting. Lunius Maximus. <laughs> yeah, no. I wasn't feeling that. Just not my cup of tea. I also don't know any other languages, so that's frustrating. I'll have to use Google for this one. I was brainstorming about what I could draw or who I could draw. I originally thought about having a little party and drawing raccoons from all over the world talking to each other, but then why would they be speaking different languages to each other? To have a conversation, you'd have to be speaking the same language. If I say hello and you say jabla jabla, then none of us would understand each other and that's why I had to abandon that idea. So yeah, that idea was trash, I guess. At this point, I'm thinking that if a person speaks several different languages, they're probably a spy. It's the only logical explanation. So I settled for drawing a raccoon spy, which actually works out since raccoons already look like they're wearing a mask, perfect for hiding your true identity. I wanted it to look like my spy raccoon traveled to a ton of different countries and tried to blend in and look like the locals there. He's undercover. Some of these aren't even looking like raccoons anymore. This one's supposed to be American, but it looks more like a fat pig with a Ooh. double chin. And this one here, what is that? Is that a cat? Is that a clown? Mama. No, obviously it's an Italian raccoon. I made him dress up like Mario to make it more apparent that he's Italian. I know that's not always how Italians look, mostly because I myself am Italian. Anyways, that's irrelevant, but the point is I'm working with stereotypes here to exaggerate and make it glaringly obvious what country this raccoon is in. Just go with it, okay? So now that I have it all sketched out, I'm gonna go back in with Posca pens. For some reason, I've been led to believe that it's very common to carry around a baguette in France, so that's why my raccoon spy is also carrying around a baguette. Wouldn't want to stand out and draw any unwanted attention. I think he's doing an okay job of blending in. You can't tell me he doesn't look British while sipping his tea <laughs> like that. Yes. Also, I did just realize that this is supposed to be the same raccoon spy, just in different outfits. He magically turned into a girl for his British form. I, uh, well, 
You see, I don't know, I can't explain it. I'm just trying not to dwell on it. I guess I forgot my concept for this page. A momentary lapse in judgment. By the way, this American one is not wearing a diaper. That's his stomach popping out. Nothing to worry about though. It's pretty normal. I see it all the time. I think they even have a name for it now. Crop tops or something? The Russian version isn't looking very friendly. To be honest, he looks kind of mad. I'm scared. These may not be completely accurate representations of each country. They're a bit of a stretch, but you get the idea. The only language I really know is English, so I'll admit I did have to use Google Translate for this page. Bonjour. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Ciao. I looked up how to say hi in Russian. Um, Zerdovsky, Zerdovsky, Zerdovsky. Okay, I'll stop. At this point, I feel like I'm just being offensive, so I'm just gonna write Putin. I'm sure there's no Russians watching me anyway. I do realize that raccoons don't speak any of these languages, but uh, that's beside the point. If you don't want to end up with the same fate as Marshmallow, I'll do it! I'll do it! I suggest you click on the top left and watch the other Create This Book 2 videos.